Morning everyone. I thought I'd do a little van tour. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, gonna do a van tour. Uh, I'm gonna try and talk about everything. If I miss something, so be it. Uh, morning guys and gals. Um, I was gonna do uh, a little bit of a van tour. Um, because I don't think we've done one and I'm a bit bored. Uh, it's the morning, so it's a bit cold outside. Um, that's why I'm wearing like, pyjamas. Uh, but the sun's out, so um, all good. Got the heater on, um, getting nice and toasty in here. Um, yeah, so we'll just just go, try and go through all the points. Um, sorry if I do miss something. If you do have a comment, obviously you can ask. Um, but it's all pretty simple stuff. Right, uh, just going to get the heater and the uh, radio off so we can hear ourselves think. <laughs> I'm not going to turn the heater off, I'm just going to turn it down a couple of seconds and it, the fan dies down and we can hear ourselves think. Alright, well, hope you can see me. Um, so, obviously, this is the cab, um, it's just a, ca a van cab. Um, the only difference uh, we sort of have is this is a swivel chair so it swivels completely around um, so we can set up the table and stuff like that um, we've got two fast charge usbs with an on and off switch so it doesn't drain in the battery reversing camera um, that we can just flick on anytime uh, with night vision so that's pretty cool um, that was a gift from my other half so i was really happy with that um, we don't need it i just wanted it pretty cool. Um, we've got the GoPro mount, a um, couple lights just to remind us that the van's on. <laughs> um, you know, radio, cigarette lighter, fan, steering wheel. Um, with this LDV Maxus, all the controls are in the middle, which I don't mind. It's pretty pretty cool for a, uh, a camper van, I'd say, personally. Um, so yeah, up, up front, that's pretty much it. I'm in the, in the door cards. Um, we've got things like the ice, uh, an ice scraper, um, a, a jump pack for the battery, uh, which is this thing. Um, it's fully charged, so that can go back in its little holder. Um, in, in this door over here, we've got things for like defrosting the inside of the windows um, for when we're on the move in the morning. Uh, that's it, really. Um, pretty simple stuff. <clears throat> And this chair, you can just sit like this, and when we have the table here, it's blinding. Okay, so you can probably just hear the diesel heater on tick over. Um, sorry about that. So, uh, we're pointing at the window that I've had made um, by the company that I work for. Um, we're a glazing company. Um, we do external and internal glazing, blah, 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 aluminium. Um, but... Um, this window um, was donated to me by my work um, with the internal glass, uh, with the internal blinds within the glass unit itself. So uh, no oil splatters, um, you know, when, when you're on the move, um, they don't uh, wriggle around and get all messy, stuff like that. And obviously we can shut them up, open them, stuff like that. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And the window cost me, uh, well, I would it cost me nothing um just a few a few man hours that's all um so yeah really happy with that um considering that the standard windows you can buy are sort of upwards of 350 it's you know and this is almost a meter wide by sort of 400 mil so yeah happy with that you'll notice the fly net um we leave this up permanently um just for ease really um it's sort of fitted well um and it stays uh, there with the door open or shut um, and it stops the breeze as well as the flies uh, to a degree so yeah I'd, I'd advise uh, getting one of these um, and obviously especially for the summer it's a it's a no-brainer I think so uh, up here we've got the light switches so we've got three switches here which operate one two and three so sort of the front half and the center and then the back switch is in another position so we've got on 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 there the lights um over 
over store overhead storage. Um, this just consists of jackets, uh, GoPros, drones, uh, the, the pole for the table, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, we've got a hook up here, nice strong hook fixed uh, securely to the van, so um, we can hang decent stuff off that. Not that we do. Um, yeah, and, and that's really uh, the overhead storage and, and sort of the front uh, head of the van. So for the ventilation in our in our camper, we've gone for two manual uh, opening vents. Um, in the summer, the van wasn't really a problem. Um, uh, during the day uh, and stuff like that, we could survive. Um, but at night, uh, we found that the back of the van was unbearable. We had to crack the doors open, um, you know, on the first lock, so stuff like that. So we're gonna swap the second vent out with one of them uh, super fancy maxi fans or whatever they call them. Uh, but that's in the future. Uh, it's not a problem now because it's freezing. Along the lining up here, we've just got some photos of our travels from the Polaroid camera. So this storage compartment you see here is the um, the bowels of the van. So we've got in here the electrical gear, the diesel heater, um, and, and all the stuff that sort of keeps the van um, comfortable and fun and, and livable. Um, I'll get the cushions off and show you an inside of that later. It's, it's a mess in there. It's not professional looking at the moment. Um, don't ask me why I haven't sorted it. I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, obviously, a couple cushions. Um, we've got the table, the um, the, the tabletop um, that just slides down there. Um, everything's carpeted. A couple uh, pictures we've painted. A little chalkboard. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but we've also got um, a little camper van that just hides all the all the crap. Yeah, so we have a so we have our caravan that hides all the crap. Um, very good, bit of Velcro on the bottom, and it just adheres to that back corner so it doesn't slide off. Obviously, in the back there, you'll just see the uh, carbon monoxide alarm. Um, it's a must have, I guess. Um, yeah, um, moving up from this, we have the storage racks that we got off Amazon. I think they're about sort of 10 to 15 pounds for the free, um, and they're they're stepped so one fits inside another so they are slightly small uh, and with the angle of the wall we had going up um, it worked pretty well like I said chalk uh, got the LED lights running across and um, we've gone for carpet everywhere so we've got it on the ceilings on the walls absolutely everywhere so moving to the kitchen area excuse me moving to the kitchen area um, I mean starting off on the base We've got the sink on the left hand side and the double ring cooker on the right hand side. Um, that's it. So we've got the, the uh, clean water uh, coming in, which is located in the garage. So we fill that up by the rear and the uh, gray wastewater is just here via two little 10 litre cans. Um, there is a plan to put it in the back as well, so we have just two big 25 litre, blah, 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 there's a plan. Um, but for now, we've got two 10 litre tanks sat in underneath here that we just swap um, one to another. Uh, once one's full, once they're both full, we empty them. Works pretty well. Um, I mean, we only use the vans hard on the weekend, so there's only so much uh, material we get through. Uh, that goes for the diesel heater as well. Uh, when we installed that, which was three or so weeks ago, we put in five litres of diesel. Five, 5.2, I think the jerry can had. And we've still got four and a half litres, four minimum. So yeah, that's, that's blinding. I think the diesel heater uses more power more power than diesel obviously i think but anyway uh, that's a power issue because we've only got one battery um it's a victron battery but it's an old victron battery that since coming to me probably hasn't had the best life anyway 
So yeah, kitchen. Um, we've got obviously uh, paper, uh, tissue paper, um, with a little uh, Velcro uh, restraint, just stops everything un unwinding, um, stuff like that. So we've got up here, it's just sort of a crap storage tray. We've got knife, carabiners, LED lights, uh, aerial for the TV, remote for the TV, and of course, a bottle opener. A couple of shells, must've nicked them from the beach. Uh, we've got a TV up here, uh, complete waste of time putting a television in. We don't use it. Um, it was donated, so it was free, um, and it hasn't cost us anything else apart from a £10 aerial um, off Amazon. So that was a complete waste of time. That was my idea. Um, but it looks cool. It, you know, we've got that option. You know, should we be on electric hookup for a long time? We can have it on and just chin out. So it's not a complete waste, but yeah, I mean, we've both got laptops, so that, that, that does the job. Um, so yeah, we went for the uh, stick-on adhesive tiles. They sort of come um, stepped, staggered, um, so they sort of join together, blah, blah, blah. Um, I wanna say they're easy to fit. Um, they're easy or were easier for me because I used to do uh, signs and graphics and vinyl and stuff like that. So I wasn't sort of new to it, but um, yeah, it's fine. Get some and honestly, it's pleasing. It works well. I've got some of this rubber strip here that just goes over the edge and finishes everything. On the back side of this uh, timber up stand I've done, I've uh, done it with like the felt again. So it's all just a warm, cozy feeling. That's it really, a couple nets, um, yeah. Um, bed's a bit of a mess at the moment because um, there's jackets and bags and that's chucked on it. I'll get the camera in a better position and we'll go through this area, jump in the back, have a little look outside. That's about it, I think. So yeah, like I was saying, everything has a bit of Velcro or something another or a restraint or, or whatnot, just to keep it in place. So this lives at the back corner there. Once it's in, it's absolutely fine. Same with the alarm. So just wanted to show you the, the air outlet for the diesel heater. It's got this plastic uh, knob on it that rotates so you can have the, the air pump in um, the direction that you wish. Typically, um, we're just going like that. For the flooring, we've gone for a nice uh, dark grey laminate um, and then a white um, architrave bead around the edge just to keep the carpet and the and the um, laminate all tall and, and together. Um, the fr first mat rug uh, footstep you see here is more for the, the weather coming in and this one is just for uh, when we're jumping out of bed and the floor's a bit cold or whatnot. But we do prefer the laminate because when you're coming in with snow on your boots or sand or whatever, much more friendlier. So I will take you through the cupboards. We'll try and have a little look inside, but at the end of the day, they are cupboards. Nobody's meant to look inside these. So one, feel privileged, two, don't judge. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, these are just, again, uh, the exact same grade carpet, just a different colour. Um, we've got these little um, sort of push um, things that that sometimes work. <laughs> and apparently when we're on camera, it don't want to work. But yeah, they, they do work. I don't know why it's not. It's not working now, but... Yeah, anyway, we'll see that later. We'll see how the others others uh, other latches go before we judge it so yeah we've got clothes in here um on a, on a pole so they all hang in uh, in the base of it we've got like a a fabric uh, uh hexagonal divider so it um we can put pants socks uh, and i think they're movable um, so you can reorganize it uh jumpers jackets just sort of any clothes we've got some snoods hanging up on the back of the door um stuff like that Next, next one down. Um, now this door here, this was actually a bit of a rush door. Um, basically we was going away and we really needed a door. So I just slapped this one together. It doesn't even have any 
glue on it as you see it sort of rippled so that's something we need to sort out um, but to the untrained eye it's a door so I'm not actually worrying about it I'm not a perfectionist I just like things to work and be practical anyway yes yeah, so this one is the toilet um, when I say the toilet this is the toilet room so um, we pull the toilet out Ooh, uh, might have to move the camera to show you that in a second we'll do that in a second so yeah we've got a toilet in here we've got paper in there at the back we've got more paper um, some some um, toilet uh, products uh, a, a stand foot stand that goes at the front of the door there's also a um, gas cooker in there um, you know one of the 20 pound jobbies um, that you take camping just in case um, something goes down or in the summer we're cooking outside uh, it just gives us more flexibility um, so yeah let's get the camera in another position I'll just show you how I pull out the toilet it's very simple uh, basic stuff so yeah um, let's get this open and have a look I'll just show you very quickly um, yeah look, so like I was saying the carpet's not glued on it's just just on you know um, so the toilet itself just comes out like so turn it around do your business back the way she goes um, you know I know lots of people make it on a pull-out tray and for me it's just over engineered toilet done okay so moving to the next one not entirely sure if you can see it and um, don't think you will be able to by the time doors open um, so I'll move you into a better position okay so this one very quickly just we've got um, bags of um, clothes so that'll be certain type of clothes it looks like sort of relaxing hoodie stuff there's another bag at the back there looks like pajamas um, we've got sort of work trousers gym clothes hoodies crap uh, in the back we've got a box of just sort of trainers for everyday use um, it's a, it is essential to have more than one spare pair of trainers there has been a day where we have gone through three pairs of trainers um, due to misuse so yeah this is the bed area um, just up the top here we've got the light switch uh, two USB chargers a mirror and a little pronged device that holds cables I'll, I'll give you a little snippet around there in a second. Um, so yeah, as you can see, bed's a bit of a mess. If I just quickly get all this stuff off, you will see roughly the plan we have. Um, so we sleep one, two, heads up here. Um, now this van from over there to over there is, I don't know, let's say uh, five, eight, five foot eight inches. Uh, I'm about six foot, sometimes six point one if i've had a weird day so i sleep head in the corner feet in the bottom corner here um when i need to stretch out um but otherwise i can take myself back over there but when i do need to stretch out get a bit of stretching done um i can go like that uh, my other half she's quite small so there's no problem with her for her uh, even when i'm cranked like this now we've got the thermal blinds that just rest on the bed when they're not in use um, these are amazing um, they were 50 pounds so you know I, I want to say expensive for what they are um, considering but at the end of the day they really do work well one they keep the heat in to the privacy um, and, and to be honest I think it helps a bit with the road noise as well um, yeah so on the back we've got a couple of nets um, that we can just slide stuff in they're just handy because we've got fans, remotes, books, all sorts of stuff um, we can just put in there. And at night, um, obviously I wear glasses, so I can just put my glasses in there, my phone in there, my watch in there, all done. This is the mm, overhead storage compartment. Um, this isn't finished and we have no plan to finish it imminently. Um, that's just staying like that for now until we think of what um, what to do with it because we don't want a door like so like we have with everything else because we're bored of making doors so we might get some um 
some sort of uh, like paracord or uh, elastic cord of some sort, blah, 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 and string it like that. So you can just need to sort of separate it and take your thing out. Uh, we'll see. That's that. Um, yep. Yeah, so again, everything's carpeted. It just gives it that warm, cozy feel, um, you know, in the middle of the night when the heat is not on and you jump out of bed to have a quick wee. Uh, quick wee. Um, yeah, touching everything that's fabric. It's real pleasant, actually. Um, yeah. In the summer, obviously, you can argue a different way, but, you know, there's, there's more months of winter than there are of summer in England. So, very quickly, like I said, we've got the two USBs up here, the on and off switch for the light, a 3D printed <coughs> sort of pronged plastic device that can hold your phone via its cables just slotting in here <clears throat> so that's cool in here you know um, a couple of pens and um, hair scrunchies and stuff like that it's just uh, just making more, things more accessible when you're in the bed so the cable you see up the top here that's the cable for the <clears throat> for the reversing camera that we had retrofitted so um, it looks a bit ugly um, as with everything, the doors, this, this, it all needs uh, a bit of TLC, a bit of, you know, get it to the right place, um, you know, even just to string that bloody cable or pull it back through and hide it. It's all little things that take time that you don't really want to do, but can be done on a rainy day. So you can't complain. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good hobby, you know, to have, to get you out of the house and do this. It's, it's better than sitting on your ass, eh? So, yeah. In a nutshell, that's the caravan. It's pretty basic, but livable and workable and on a budget. So we really can't complain. We're happy it's brought us into this life. It won't be our last van, but for our first van, I think we haven't done so bad. It's very, mm, it's a bit cold outside. Um, it's just very toasty in here. So uh, just going to go outside, give you a quick run around of the van. Um, at the end of the day, it's a white van. Um, so there's only so much you can see. But we'll go have a little look and I'll leave you there. Oh, good morning world, eh? Oh, I seem to have parked in a river. So yeah, outside of the van, um, bit of plastic trim missing. Apart from that, van's in pretty pretty good order um this is the window from the outside just an aluminium frame excuse the bird poop aluminium frame um siliconed into place two layers of four mil glass um with the blinds in the middle um that's the van and then for the back of the van excuse me the car's going past back of the van um we painted it gray because it was in a bit of a bad way um with the plan of painting it white again blah blah, blah. um couple of stickers down the bottom um padlock because the previous owner um locked the keys in the van had to punch his way through so now we have padlock um this side we have the electric cookup, uh, the outlet for the diesel heater here and that's it really um i've put on a bunch of extra reflectors um here and there just um for my own you know bit of peace of mind really just for when you parked up in places like this and you know, at night time and the people coming across the bridge and, you know, it all helps, I'm sure. There's another van sleeping in the corner here. There. I will open the back of the van in a second and I'll show you that. Um, yeah. So, just having a look in the back of the van. Windy. Okay, excuse the mess, as always. So, this is the back. Sorry, bed's not made, as always. Um, anyway, so yeah, we've got two bikes, mountain bikes, um, cables for the electric hookup, a um, couple of bags, chairs back there. Uh, nothing in this. Not sure what happened there with the device. Anyway, um, so yeah, that space behind there's nothing there. And again there, but in the centre, from about there to there, there's the back of the fridge. Um, so we've got some mountain uh, walking boots, um, gloves for bikes, some cleaner, bottle, um, sort of miscellaneous stuff, 
um, charcoal for the uh, barbecue, <laughs> obviously, beer, um, bit of rubbish, uh, stuff, stuff again, just sort of crap really, we could probably condense all that down to two and we don't really need the charcoal, so, um, you know, when the, when the weather's nice and we've got a free day, we can, we can do stuff like that. Jump leads because um, this van's a pig, oil, another chair, um, or for the canoe, uh, the canoe's not in here at the moment. And yeah, that's it really.